<laughs> Welcome everyone. This is Kathy Bartoli from the Intimacy Dojo here with Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. And we, our question right now is, how do you know when to keep working through a relationship or an issue and when to pull the plug? Well, hopefully you have done your due diligence with yourself mm -hmm. around what your bottom lines are. Mm -hmm. And so you've, you've started to already figure out what's unacceptable or what you would end a relationship over. If you haven't done that, what's a good resource to learn what your, your bottom lines are? Um, I've, I've got some stuff I want to be posting on my blog soon. Okay. So, I mean, I would, I would go to readaboutsex.com, do a search for bottom lines. Um, if nothing comes up, email me and be like, yo, dude, you said you were going to do a blog post on this. <laughs> um, either that or like, you know, hire me to coach you yeah. through it. Um, the, the way to do it is to really take a look at what are those things that you would end a relationship over or end a first date over immediately. Mm -hmm. Like no questions asked. Yeah. The analogy I always use, it's easy for people who have kids. You have somebody come over. You open up the door, they're like, hi, how are you? And they kick your kid in the face. That's Do you go on the date? No! <laughs> and that's how you know. Like, it's that cut and dry. Mm -hmm. There's no wiggle room. Um, so if the first thing to figure out is, have any of your bottom lines been crossed mm -hmm. in your relationship? If that is the case, you have, uh, you have already arrived at, we pull the plug. Um, and the more that you know your bottom lines and you know like your three strikes and you're out mm -hmm. wiggle room, um, when you know those things, you can communicate those to your partner. Yes. Or if you're already in a relationship, you guys can figure those out together and be like, hey, like, so now we know. Mm -hmm. um, so that when it shows up, it's a lot easier to kind of stick to your policy. Because if you don't create these things um, or get clear on them, and they may change over time, you know, over the years, but that you know what they are now mm -hmm. allows you to have policies rather than like rack your brain over what you should do yeah. with somebody that you probably care a lot about and are in love with. Um, and you can be madly in love with somebody and it still be a bad decision to stay with them. Yes. Um, so that, that's kind of the, the first thing to do. And if none of those bottom lines have been crossed and then you're in your three strikes and you're out territory, how many strikes are going? Um, you know, what's really important to you in your relationship? Um, and I think one question to ask always is, is, are you actually in the relationship that you should be in? Like, are you in a relationship that you shouldn't be in? Um, and sometimes the answer is, yeah, like I'm in that relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think the biggest problem with people or challenge with people in today's modern, modern world uh, <laughs> is that people are falling in love with good people who are horrible fits for them. Yes. And you should not be in a relationship with that person. So ask yourself that. Is this, am I in love with a good person that's a horrible fit for me? And you guys should really sit down and be like, okay, so we need to talk. Yeah. And then if your answer is, wow, I'm in a, I'm in a relationship with a horrible person who's a horrible fit for you, that's your answer. Mm -hmm. Get the hell out. And, and I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, I'm not going to, you know, sprinkle glitter on you and tell you that the rainbow unicorns are coming. Um, get out of those bad relationships. They're not supposed to be saved. Mm -hmm. And that means nothing about you and nothing about the other person. Just get out of Dodge. A good way to judge that, too, is how much bandwidth are you putting into the relationship? How much resistance are you counting encountering overall mm -hmm. we all have bad days but overall is the relationship adding to your yeah. life or is it taking it away yeah and, and my analogy for that is if you have a car and you're driving up a hill the engine works harder mm -hmm. versus you're driving around town with the parking brake on yeah. like you have extra effort now if you happen to live in san francisco there are lots of hills yeah. that's different than you're driving around in Dallas with the parking brake on. Yeah. And then you can also be living in San Francisco with the parking brake on, and that's, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> Thank you very much, Reed. You're welcome.